If you have OSHA compliance questions or concerns, Pike Group's got you covered. All right, we are here at St. Pete Fishing Outfitters, and let's talk grouper fishing. Let's talk grouper gear. We're gonna go see what our friends here at the store have to say about grouper fishing and what they're using for grouper right now. Awesome store here. I always get a little excited when I come into the store. It's, uh, it's just, uh, I feel like a kid in a candy store. What's going on, everybody? What's up, Captain? Joe Rains. <laughs> hey, it's Zane. What's going on, man? Yeah, how you doing? I'm looking for a high dollar, high performance grouper fishing setup. Can you point me in the right direction? Okay, so to start it off with the reel, I'd have to go with a Shimano Talica. This is the 16 size and a two speed. You know, it's a real nice reel, got real high quality parts, real smooth. It's gonna last you a long time. Definitely worth spending that extra little bit of money. And to pair it up, I got the Chris Green Custom Rod. This is the grouper rod. It's a seven foot, 12 to 50. That's a Medium nice looking rod, oh, yeah. man. It's got very nice accents on it, the silver and black. Beautiful wraps on that. It's got the roller tip. Great looking guy. It's got the guys. roller guide right here for the stripper guide. And so you can do a lot with this thing. It's very versatile. You can troll with it. Yeah. You can rip fish out of the rocks. It's got good bend on it. It's pretty stiff. As you can see. And yeah, Chris Green, you know, he can make pretty much any rod you want. Right. This is just one of many options that he has. So maybe if you wanted a multi-purpose setup, you could spool it up with braid and put a mono top shot on it. Or yeah. if, if you only wanted to bottom fish with it, then just go straight mono. Yeah, you could put some, fill this thing up 50 pound braid, put like 300 plus yards on, like you said, with some top shot. Or put some mono on it, fish for straight grouper. And it's a very versatile combo. You can do a lot with this thing. This reel's got a lot of drag. You can be able to rip some big fish out of the rock with this thing. Yeah, two speed is definitely essential. Yep. And it's definitely got a really, well-functioning two-speed mechanism there. That's nice. Thank you very much, Mr. Zane. Yes, sir. What about a spinning setup? What if I want a free line baits? What if I want to cast lures and baits? You're gonna need a, a spinning setup for that. Let's go on over here and consult with Mr. Thawney. How you doing, buddy? What's up, man? Good. How's it going? We're looking for a spinning rod and reel that can handle big gag grouper. What okay. you got? This right here should be able to do it. Uh, this area is a Shimano Terramar, 20 to 40 pound class. Really stout, nice and stout rod for throwing big baits, big uh, pinfish, grunts, mm -hmm. mullet, smaller size ladyfish too for big snook, tarpon, um, just big baits in general for uh, for bigger fish. And I have it paired up with the Shimano Spheros 8000 SW. This right here has 26 pounds of drag. Nice looking setup there. Yeah, man. Low gear ratio, you're gonna need it for uh, gag grouper fishing. Mm -hmm. you're gonna need, you want low gear for the power. And um, I put 50 pound braid on there, 60 pound uh, fluorocarbon leader, mm -hmm. or 80 pound fluorocarbon leader, six aught circle hook, seven aught circle hook. That should be able to do it. I like it. One of the things I really noticed about this rod is I really like the guides. I like the feet on these guides. Heavy duty it's guides. Nice looking guides there. Yeah. And that's a stout rod too. I mean, you catch some big fish, you catch tarpon with it, you catch sharks with Absolutely. it. Absolutely. That's a big setup there. Absolutely, and it's, so. it's affordable too, you know? It's, yeah, you, you, 150 bucks for that rod. Right. That's a high performance rod right there. Something that won't break the bank. Yeah. Really good feedback on the uh, on these rods here. Very popular, because the price point, like Joe mentioned. Right. So. Cool. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate your input. You're welcome. All right. Thanks for stopping in. So we're gonna need some hooks for grouper fishing, so. Looks like we've got some inline circles here from Trident. There's a six aught right there. That's a good choice for grouper. Sevens are good. Eight aughts are also good. That's a 2x long shank inline circle hook. Gives you a little bit extra coming out of the fish's mouth when you hook him. A little bit more to work with to grab onto. But these are really good hooks. I use Trident hooks just about exclusively on my boat and they've caught thousands and thousands and thousands of fish i definitely trust my fishing trip to a trident hook for sure they've caught tons of fish the next thing you're going to need is some leader line 
you really don't need anything special for grouper fishing. You just need a good quality monofilament leader. You can regular old monofilament works. If you go down here, we got a lot of great products from Joyfish and Lee Fisher. So I would probably start right around here, around the 40 pound mark. Use 50, there's 60, an 80 pound test. Heck, if you want to use giant baits, 80 and 100 pound test for the biggest of big grouper, you can grab some of that. And this is a lot of line for a low price right now, this 40 pound spool, 1,120 yards, 13 bucks for that thing. That's a lot of leader line. You could be using that for years. So definitely come into St. Pete Fishing Outfitters and check out the selection of rods, reels, hooks, line. I mean, they've got pretty much everything. The other thing you're definitely gonna need for bottom fishing for grouper is some good weights. Got a good selection of weights around here. For grouper fishing, I'm using a lot of two ounce weights inside the bay, threes and fours occasionally. Usually I don't need a whole lot more than that, but if you got some real serious current, then you might want to go to five, six, and eight ounce weights. Uh, that's when you're, you're fishing really deep water and there's a lot of current. You're going to need uh, something like that to hold you on bottom. Jig head fishing has grown in popularity over the years. We've got jig heads from pumpkin jigs over here near the flies in the fly room. We've also got some jig heads from Mission Fishing that'll catch some big grouper. You come on down here. There's some three quarter ounce jig heads there, five aught size. That's a good jig head for grouper. Well, I think that about does it for our grouper fishing selection today. Be sure you come by the store and check out all the gear we have to offer. Subscribe to Head First Fishing, and I'll see you later.